Welcome back to another segment of Every Day in His Presence. Today we're going to do Isaiah chapter 42. Go ahead and read the entire chapter, but we're going to highlight verse 16, into the unknown. At times God will beckon you to step out in the unknown. Perhaps this is what you face today. The choices and situations ahead are new and usual, and you're not quite sure how to handle them. This is the essence of the call of faith. The Father bids you to do the unfamiliar or to go in a direction that is untried. Just remember, if the way were known to you, if the way were known to you, if you could handle it in your strength and wisdom, this would not be a step of faith for you. It would carry no potential for relieving the Father's character, love, power, and wisdom in your life. So whatever God has challenged you to do, remember, He will employ the full power of heaven to ensure you are able to triumph in it. Your responsibility is simply to seek, trust, and obey Him as He directs you. Lord, lead me. I will follow. I will go wherever you send me. You see the path ahead, and I will not fail or forsake me. Keep me in the center of your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So go ahead and turn to that chapter, and let's read and be reminded of His truth this morning, I went ahead and I underlined it in green because I would like to acknowledge his promise and maintain a prayerful stand, a prayerful heart. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar path, I will guide them. Yes, he will guide us. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. Yes, Lord, make all of our rough places smooth. These are the things I will do, and that's a promise. I will not forsake them. Yes, Lord, thank you for always thinking about us and not leaving us, abandoning us, or forsaking us. I went ahead and inscribed that verse in the CSB and the message. In the message translation says, but I'll take the hand of those who don't know the way, who can't see where they're going. I will be a personal guide to them. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Directing them through a known country. I will be right there to show them what roads to take. Make sure they don't fall in the di to the ditch. Yes, these are the things I'll be doing for them. Sticking with them, not leaving them for a minute. Whew, that's comforting. My reflection was, yes, these are the, his promises. He will turn my darkness into light. Life, I'll feel renewed and transformed. He will guide me all the way and will never leave my side. Lord, help me step on your obedience today. Be prayerful all the time and ask you for guidance. I like to repent, getting ahead of the Lord and taking care of the matters without praying. Just thinking that I could do it on my own strength. I count on my blessings. This is a perfect antidote for discontentment. I pray specifically. I like to cry out to him and let him know everything. And then the additional scriptures that you would like to write down is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 18. First, I mean, chapter 30, verse 21, chapter 32, verse 3, and Jeremiah chapter 31, 8, and 9. And Isaiah chapter 32, verse 3 says and reminds us this morning, watch, I am going to bring them from the northern land. I will gather them from remote regions of the earth. The blind and the lame will be with them, along with those who are pregnant and those who are about to give to birth. They will return here as a great assembly. Yes, Lord, he'll take very good care of all of us. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we boldly and courageously pray. Amen. So you all have a blessed day. and We will meet at a later date and time for another segment of Every Day in His Presence. God bless.